everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here today at Rewritten Vintage Homestead. Um, I thought we would start making some nice Sunday dinners, and I wanted to start today with my family's absolute favorite side dish, sweet potato casserole. So if you're going to a potluck or after church on Sunday and you want something really special to take, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. So let me bring you down here. So what I have are two large cans of sweet potatoes. You can either use your own or you can buy them. These were uh, very inexpensive. And this is a 40 ounce can. So you can either do one can if it's just two to four people or like me, I'm going to do a, a larger batch. And so I'm going to mash these down. I drain them in the can. Now I'm going to mash them down. Oh, we have this for almost every holiday. And it's delicious. Like after church on Sunday, if you're having chicken and noodles or, or beef and noodles or ham, it goes good with everything. Okay, so after you have those mashed, you're going to add two eggs that are slightly beaten. So let's get these be, let's beat these eggs up, take out our frustrations. Okay, we're going to add those to the sweet potatoes. Then we're going to add a half a cup of milk. One tablespoon of orange juice. I know, doesn't that sound strange? I remember the first time I tried this. And you know, I got this recipe probably in the 1980s, and it was out of a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, and I just have used it ever since. I love it. So I'm going to add some orange juice. Of course, one cup of brown sugar. Have to have sugar, don't we? One teaspoon of vanilla. And it goes pretty fast, really. You just dump everything in. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm, my medicine makes me a little shaky sometimes. Let me try to get this in there. There we go. All right, I think we have everything. One teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, we need our half a cup of melted butter. There we go. Oh, you can just imagine. <laughs> so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blender and I'm going to mix this all up really well for about two minutes on medium speed. I'm going to put it in my large baking dish here, which is 11 by 13, and it's already been sprayed with Pam. We're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Then we're going to add the toppings. So this is what it looks like after you get it all mixed up and we're gonna spread it nice and even in our pan and our pan has been sprayed with Pam. You can use Crisco, uh, whatever you have, whatever kind of shortening you have. And we're gonna just spread it nice and pretty and even. I'm always looking for side dish recipes that I can take somewhere uh, at work or if we have a potluck somewhere or you know you can even make this part uh, the day before Sunday church put it in the refrigerator and then just bake it the next day and add the toppings so that's nice and easy too so I think we have that spread fairly well I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes and then we'll add the delicious toppings. So this is what the sweet potato casserole looks like after 40 minutes at 
350 degrees. Now we're going to make the toppings. So we're gonna take a half a cup of brown sugar and to that we're gonna mix in a third cup of flour. Just get it evenly mixed up. Then we're gonna add a third cup of melted butter. And it's not gonna be a crumbly type of uh, topping. It's going to be very moist. So after we get that mixed up very well, we're gonna sprinkle that on top. Mm -mm. All over. You can add uh, crushed pecans to the top if you would like. That tastes really good. But we're just gonna do the basic recipe today. Just all over. See, you, like I said, you can make this the night before, put it in the refrigerator up to this point, um, and then the next day bake it, if that would be easier for you. Now we're going to take some syrup, any kind that you like, maple syrup, and we're just going to go back and forth in a pretty design on top. And on top of that, we're going to add miniature marshmallows. There we go. So those will get golden and puff up and be delicious. Add as many or as few as you'd like. I usually do a half a bag or so. Then I'm going to put these back in a 350 degree oven until those marshmallows get nice and brown and puffy. And then I'll show you what it's going to look like when we're done. Here is our beautiful sweet potato casserole after it's come out of the oven. As you can see, the marshmallows are all nice and brown. Our crumble mix here is slightly melted, but it's still crunchy. And underneath that is a layer of sweet potato goodness. Absolutely delicious. This is what it looks like when you cut into it. It's like a pudding. And I guarantee your family's gonna love it for years to come. Every holiday, they're gonna be requesting this sweet potato casserole. So thanks for joining me here today, friends. I hope you have a great week. Like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment if you feel so inclined and come back and see us next time.